Hi, everyone. Welcome. My name is Ramsey Trotter. I am part of the Leader Impact Next team, and it's great to be with you all today. We have 60 countries represented on this call, which is an incredible picture of how God is working around the world. In order to introduce this new tool to as many staff as possible, we have live translations today in Spanish, French, Arabic, and Portuguese. We are so grateful for our translators who have volunteered their time to help us. To access translation, you will see a globe symbol at the bottom of your Zoom screen. From there, you can choose the language that you need. For English speakers, if there are any pauses, we just want to let you know that we're giving our translators a chance to catch up, and we're grateful for your patience as we serve this global audience. We'll also be sharing some videos today, and to see those most clearly, we encourage you to put your Zoom in speaker view. And out of the reason you've all joined us today, to learn about a new tool called the Key Leader Challenge. SLM and Leader Impact have been working on this together in collaboration because it is our desire to serve the national movements and to help staff as they equip students moving from the campus to the city as working professionals. Many of these students have served as leaders within their campus movements, and now they have the opportunity to apply the skills and the training they learned on campus to be key leaders for Christ in their new context. We're going to start today by hearing the story of one of these key leaders. Soy Carla Cavazos, tengo 22 años. Soy de Monterrey, Nuevo León, México. Eh, soy psicóloga. Cuando estaba en tercer semestre, tenía 18 años. Eh, como sentí que, que ocupaba mucho tiempo en cosas que no tenían tanto valor. Entonces falleció una persona muy importante para mí, eh, mi otra amiga de la infancia. Y en ese momento empecé a buscar muchas respuestas. Y había personas a mi alrededor en la facultad que eran creyentes y, y de pronto como me hablaban de Cristo. Una de ellas eh, fue invitada a un campamento de vida estudiantil en aquel entonces y era un campamento local aquí en Monterrey. Entonces me invitó y yo queriendo encontrar respuestas fui, pero solo por curiosidad. Y entonces ahí alguien me habló de las cuatro leyes espirituales y, y fue como pude entender que Dios me amaba, que tenía un propósito y un plan para mi vida. Y, y fue cuando entendí lo que Cristo hizo en la cruz por mí. Entonces a partir de ahí supe que podía tener una relación directa con Dios y, y que todo tenía un propósito y que cada día podía tener un sentido para mí de ahora en adelante. El siguiente año, en el mismo campamento, ya me estaban pidiendo los organizadores como apoyar en un área de eh, los juegos y las dinámicas. Entonces, fue muy importante que me involucraran y que me pidieran como la parte de ser parte de, de, de todo desde la organización. Y en ese año, pude estarlos acompañando en la universidad en las reuniones de oración y, y ver más o menos cómo era la dinámica y cómo funcionaba esa parte de, de ir y conectar a otros con Jesús, como lo hicieron conmigo. Un año después, ya en el 2017, yo ya era parte de la organización principal, incluso las reuniones de la organización de ese campamento en el que yo recibí a Cristo dos años atrás, ya eran en mi casa. Y en ese año en el que estaba organizando, en el 2017, eh, tuvimos un taller de misiones. Entonces, en ese taller vimos un video sobre como las opciones que había para ir a, a otros países o a otras ciudades de México eh, a un proyecto misionero que podía ser de 21 días o de 3 meses de Krulak, entonces vi el video y después de, de ver el video pudimos tener un momento como de oración todos, éramos como 25 personas en la reunión y para mí fue muy claro de ver que, que Dios me estaba llamando a hacerlo, entonces decidí ir a Venezuela a un L21 y esto se trata de ir 21 días a una ciudad en ese país donde no hay un movimiento y comenzar a ir a las universidades para hacer evangelismo y además contactar creyentes y, y tener como esta parte de, de, los, de los líderes clave para poder dejar un movimiento aún cuando nos vayamos después de los 21 días. Actualmente eh, estoy dirigiendo un, un grupo de chicas también llevando el material de aspectos básicos. Desde que era estudiante aprendí con Cruz 
la parte de conectar a otros con Jesús a través de la amistad, a través de tener una relación continua de cuidado, a través de estar al pendiente de, de los otros, saber cómo están, invitarlos a un café quizá, eh, interesarme por, por lo que les pasa. Y creo que eso es lo que llevo desde la universidad y ahora lo, lo he podido ver también dentro de mi, de mi ámbito laboral, dentro de mis diferentes trabajos. A veces es complicado cuando, cuando tengo amistades que no son creyentes, la parte de poder mostrar quién es Dios de una manera directa y poder hacer evangelismo dentro de, de, de mi área laboral. Por lo mismo de la parte de la ética profesional, la parte de estás conviviendo con un paciente, eh, eres psicóloga, crees en, en la ciencia, y, y la parte de tener conversaciones eh, espirituales puede parecer muy complicado, pero creo que, que Dios se ha manifestado eh, a través de, de lo que hago, a través de lo que digo, a través de, de cómo me comporto quizá y cómo reacciono cuando, cuando hay esta parte como, como de quizá discusiones o, o cosas que pueden parecer difíciles dentro de, de mi ámbito laboral con mis jefes, quizá, cuando he tenido que tomar la decisión de, de dejar un trabajo, cuando han tenido que tomar la decisión quizá de desocuparme. Eh, creo que ha estado esta parte de siempre mostrarme agradecida, siempre saber ayudar y dar un poquito más de mí, siempre dar más de lo que me piden, siempre mostrar el servicio y, y que sea con, un, con una motivación de amor no con una motivación de, de una ganancia, una conveniencia. Creo que eso es lo que ha impactado, que otros puedan, puedan saber o puedan conocer qué es la diferencia o qué es lo que nos hace diferente. Mi llamado ha sido y no ha cambiado desde que era estudiante hasta ahora siendo profesionista, desde que conocí a Cristo. Eh, mi propósito ahora de vida es que otros puedan conocerlo. Es hacer discípulos, es llevar a otros a conectarse con Jesús y, y estar al pendiente también de un crecimiento continuo y en conjunto. Soy Carla Cavazos y soy 100% enviada. Thank you, Crew Lack, for sharing that amazing testimony with us. We know that each of you on this call has students, graduates, and young professionals, just like Carla, represented in your ministries. That's why you've joined us today, and it's why we've developed this new tool. Student-led movements and leader impact share the same vision that each of you have to see students 100% sent so they can have an impact for the kingdom wherever their life leads them. To tell us more about this collaboration, Here's a word from Roger Osbaldiston and Holly Sheldon. Thank you for joining us today. I'm Roger Osbaldiston, the Global Vice President for Leader Impact. And I'm Holly Sheldon. I'm the Vice President for Student-Led Movements. And this is a really important milestone. Faith is relevant to both our personal and professional lives. And we want to see people whose whole life is dedicated to God, their leadership, their influence, their finance, and their expertise. And we're committed to seeing win, build, and send take place and multiplying disciples raised up and mission-focused communities formed, especially in major cities and centers of influence. In SLM, we talk about the three everys, the gospel for every student, a movement for every campus, and leaders for every nation. Partnering with Leader Impact helps us move forward toward our goal of seeing leaders raised for every nation. Imagine what could happen as tens of thousands of students every year graduate and go out into major cities and centers of influence as lifelong multiplying disciples for Christ. Alumni continuing to build movements in various contexts of society after graduation is critical to the vision, our vision, of movements everywhere. Student leaders on campuses today will be the people who will impact their cities and even reach their nations for Christ. And this was the original vision of CCCI founder Bill Bright, who said, 
If we win the campus today, we'll win the world tomorrow. Over the last few years, we've seen thousands of movements raised around the world as student leaders have used the Key Volunteer Challenge. So we began to dream about what God might do if graduates from our movements could easily translate and apply what they learned as students in their new context as working professionals. This past fall, a group from SLM and Leader Impact worked together on a new challenge specifically designed for graduates and young professionals. We call it the Key Leader Challenge. The hope is that young leaders will be challenged and equipped to launch new movements in their cities. Now, there are two versions of this challenge. The first is for recent graduates and the second is for young professionals. This collaboration is a small part of what God might do around the world as we challenge leaders to pursue their kingdom vision. It will take us working together with other MCCs, like-minded church movements, and partners outside of the organization. If we can figure this out together, we might see the game change for the kingdom and it could help us fulfill that original vision of winning the world tomorrow. Liege Lopez, who has served as a leader and key spokesperson for the Catalytic Strategy and the Key Volunteer Challenge all over the world, will introduce us to this exciting new tool today. Hi, everybody. It's a privilege to be with you all today to present the Key Leader Challenge. The Key Leader Challenge is a very simple tool based on the Key Volunteer Challenge and it's designed to be used in the same way. It incorporates the five things, which is a resource of 100% cent. And if you are not familiar with five things yet, it is very important that you learn this content too. You can read about and watch the five things video on the link the tech team you place in the chat. Key Leader Challenge also introduces leader impact resources like the Biscuit Trail and the Startup. To learn more about these materials, go to leaderimpactnext.com. The link also will be in the chat. But the coolest thing about this tool is that like the Key Volunteer Challenge, it leaves the graduate or young professional with practical next steps. This is not only about concepts or theories, but it's really a challenge that leads the person to act immediately. As I already mentioned, this tool was created through a collaboration between SLM and Leader Impact. We are going to watch now a video that shows how to use the challenge with last year students and graduates. And this, this is a bonus. You are the first to see it. Have you ever wondered how you can help graduates launch and lead movements after graduation? We want to share a tool with you called the Key Leader Challenge. You may be familiar with the Key Volunteer Challenge, which has helped thousands of students around the world launch spiritual movements. This version of that challenge helps graduates launch movements in their contexts. Who is this challenge for? This challenge is for a student that is approaching graduation or has recently graduated. What will you need? A blank piece of paper, a pen, and a Bible or Bible app. To start, take the paper and fold it into thirds. Once you've done this, ask the graduate, what are the biggest needs in your community and workplace? After they answer, write at the top of the page, what is your vision? Ask them, how do you think God will use you to make an impact for the kingdom after graduation? Ask the graduate to draw a representation of his or her vision. Once they have finished, write the words kingdom vision. Explain that kingdom vision is a vision for living out the great commandment and commission in your context. From there, have the graduate read Matthew 28, 18 through 20. Ask, what does God want you to do? Make sure the graduate has a good understanding of the great commission. Then ask, what does he promise you? Make it clear that Jesus will be with them, not only during college, but also while they are going to make disciples, among their friends, community, and colleagues in the workplace. Next, 
Have the graduate read 2 Timothy 2.2. 2. Ask, what is Paul saying to Timothy? Draw the diagram of spiritual multiplication. Explain that Paul is teaching Timothy how a ministry team can work. Make sure that the graduate understands the concept of spiritual multiplication. Write the word team. Say, to accomplish your vision, you will need the right people alongside you. Ask, how might this happen with your friends and colleagues after college? Then write the word coach. Explain that continuing to build movements will also require a coach. Ask the graduate, who could coach you? On the final third, write the words plan and ongoing equipping. Tell the graduate, it's not enough just to have a vision, but you also need a plan and ongoing equipping to live intentionally on mission. Ask, what are the basic things you would include in your plan? Let them think for a few minutes and make a list of what to include. Then ask, can I share a couple of suggestions? Write, pray, care, and share. Then ask, who are five friends or colleagues who are not Christians that you can pray, care, and share with immediately? Have them write their names down. Then write, start a team, and ask, who are five friends you can team up with to dream and plan for ministry after graduation? Have them write their names down. After that, ask the graduate, what tools do you think you will need to do ministry after university? Give them some time to think and reflect. After they've had time to think, ask if you can share a few tools with them. Show the graduate the Leader Impact video and tell them there are other resources available to them. In the ongoing equipping section, write one, two, three. Beside number one, write Biscuit Trail. Say, the Biscuit Trail is a resource that will help you take steps towards sharing the gospel with your colleagues. After that, write Startup. Say, the Startup is a resource to help you form a team and live on mission together. Finally, write Mentor slash Coach. Say, having a coach or mentor will help you live out your vision. Explain that these three things are part of the ongoing equipping that we want to provide for them through SLM and Leader Impact resources. Finally, thank the graduate for their time and make an appointment the following week to continue working on their next steps. Thanks for learning about the Key Leader Challenge. We pray that this tool will help your graduates continue multiplying and building movements for a lifetime. I believe that many of you who are SLM staff recognize the similarity between the Key Volunteer Challenge and the Key Leader Challenge, right? I have been presenting the Key Leader Challenge both for students and the young professionals, and the results has been very encouraging. They love it. They think it's easy to use because it's similar to Key Volunteer Challenge. Well, you all just finished watching the video, and I'm going to spend a few minutes giving you uh, some, uh, some info, uh, additional info on how to use the Key Volunteer Challenge. You are seeing now in your screen uh, pictures of students and graduates and the young professionals that uh, uh, I already used the, the Key Leader Challenge. And it, it's, it's great, it was a great experience for me. Let's start with the name. Why do we call it the Key Leader Challenge? In SLM, we talk about the three Everys. One of the three Everys is leaders for every nation. The years that the students spend with us on campus need to be years in which we prepare them to be sent as leaders who will continue to move, be multiplying disciples for a lifetime. With that in mind, we divided the challenge into three parts, vision, great commission, and spiritual multiplication, and next steps. The first part, which corresponds to the uh, first uh, third of the, the paper, is vision. I stood at head probably wondering what did it look like to be a believer at work? It's possible that uh, this is what he is to help the student graduate or young professional begin to discover God's kingdom vision for their life. We ask, what are the biggest needs in your community or in the workplace to make them think? 
What is your vision? We ask them to draw something that represents the vision God has given them. And it, it's totally okay, okay, if someone doesn't want to draw. They can choose to write the vision. But at this point, it's very important that they understand what a kingdom vision is. It is the vision that drives people to action. In the second part of the chapter, we explained about uh, the Great Commission and spiritual multiplication. A student or graduate involved in the movement should know these passages very well and know what they mean. But it's important to ask the questions to make sure. If you are using the challenge with someone who has never been involved with a crew, you may need to spend more time here. It is especially important to remind students that Jesus promised to be with them forever. That, uh, and that's why they don't need to be afraid of uh, what it will be like to continue sharing their faith uh, and making disciples uh, after the university or in the workplace and in the city. It's the Holy Spirit who will continue to empower them. When explaining spiritual multiplication, tell the last year student or graduate, this is a great example of how a team works and that they will need a team to continue to make a difference after university. The same for coach. Paul is a great example of coach for teammate. At this point, it's possible for the student to ask several questions. When am I going to form a team? Or how am I going to form a team after graduation? Who will be my coach after college? You? In some cases, uh, you might be. But it is important to show the student that the coach doesn't need to be a missionary. And perhaps they are someone in a church or workplace with more experience that you'll be able to help them. Remember that this challenge is the beginning of a conversation. We don't intend to answer all students' questions at once. In the final part of the challenge, uh, we learn about the next steps. One of the reasons why the Kivalutia challenge has become such a powerful tool for launching new movements is that when we find a key volunteer, we immediately entrust them with some simple tasks. It's the same with the key leader challenge. We tell the students that having a kind of vision is not enough. They will need a plan to make things happen. Someone involved with the movement maybe uh, has many ideas, but there are two things we want to be part on their list. The first thing is to share their faith. If you are challenged with someone who is not willing to evangelize, run away from them. They will just consume your time and effort. We are looking for key leaders. A student or graduate who has been involved with the movement for years and doesn't actively share their faith as a lifestyle is unlike to do so after graduation. Can God work a miracle? Of course. But remember that 2 Timothy 2, 2 tells us to focus on faithful men. Now, someone who was never involved uh, with crew, and has never been taught to share their faith, may need some help on how to do it. That's why we suggest the strategy, pray, care, and share. But note that the goal is to share the gospel. 
it's to this point that we are moving people. So we ask them for a list of five people with whom they will share the gospel. If we are a child day student or graduate, we can suggest that uh, they name people from outside of the university so that they can begin to experience what it's like to evangelize off campus. Many students are already working the last year. So it will be a great experience for them to share with people at work. We also ask the students to invite five people to form a team with them. Now, this can be a little tricky if the student is thinking only of a team with people from the marketplace because they may not be there yet. But this is a great opportunity to teach students that ministry will look different after university. Tell them that their team may be formed by professionals who will be working different places, but who will meet to pray and plan how to make disciples where they are. If they are an engineer student, they can team up with other engineers students to plan how engineers can share their faith and make an impact for the kingdom. The important thing here is that the person understands that uh, it is a community that we grow and learn from each other. So we need a team. Now, planning for ministry after college can be overwhelming. So it's very important that the student or graduate understands the importance of ongoing equipping. This is when you show the leader impact video to the student. It will help them to know there are people working so they have all the resources to be fruitful after university. You should also introduce the biscuit trail from leader impact as well. So they can practice having spiritual conversations over time. If the student is still super involved with the ministry uh, on camps, they may not have many opportunities to test new things, but it is important that they know about these resources. Note that the resources suggested here may uh, not yet be available in your language, but you may know of other materials that you fulfill this role. Do not hesitate to use them. The important thing is for people to know they will need to continue learning and developing. This is where, once again, we encourage the students or graduates to find a mentor or a coach because this person will help them to grow and develop. A student or graduate uh, who is used to having a disciple or coach within the movement, they may be curious about uh, how it to look like after graduation. In some countries, SLM staff are coaching young professionals. Where there is a leader impact team, it's possible for them to play this role. But in many places, there will not be a crew staff available. And it's important that you encourage the person who are, you are working with to be proactive in getting the help that they will need in the future. I hope that this explanation has helped you to better understand how to use the Kili the Child. And uh, in a while, we'll have a time for you to ask uh, questions. Finally, I Strong recommend, uh, I strongly uh, recommend you to learn about the five things because it will certainly help you better understand the process of this challenge. And as ours, the best way to master a tool is to use it. Great, thanks Liege. I'm grateful for your experience and expertise that has helped to create this challenge. And now I'm excited uh, to introduce another version of this challenge. 
that is part of the startup process for Leader Impact Next. Leader Impact Next is a gathering of early career leaders who inspire each other to grow personally, professionally, and spiritually in order to impact the world. This key leader challenge helps these leaders to think through, uh, to think through their kingdom vision and plan intentionally for the impact that they want to make in the lives of others. You'll notice this video of the key leader challenge is different as it was created to be shared directly with a young professional. So you could sit down with the young professional and watch the video together and then talk through it. We've created a worksheet to go along with the video to help you with that conversation. This will help make the challenge practical and actionable. The worksheet walks through the five things and next steps that they can take. We will share it in the chat now. You could also send this video to someone. Uh, they could watch it and work through the sheet on their own and then a coach could follow up with them after. Or you could walk through the tool using a piece of paper the same way that you would the key volunteer challenge. And as I mentioned, Leader Impact Next has developed a startup process that follows up the key leader challenge. It is for those looking to launch movements within their new context as a leader in the workplace. So here is the Leader Impact Next key leader challenge video. Are you someone who likes a challenge? As a young leader who follows Jesus, would you like to see your impact for God increased and multiplied in others? Then you're ready for this Key Leader Challenge. It is designed to draw out the vision God has given you, encourage and equip you to take steps forward. To start, let's think about what is your vision? How do you think God may use you to make an impact for the kingdom amongst your friends and colleagues? Kingdom vision is seeing how you best fit into God's big plan, which influences your decisions and choices now and in the years to come. And it is specific to you, your goals, skills, and passions, and how they intersect with what God is already doing. How do you see yourself using your work to glorify God and serve others? Begin thinking about your kingdom vision. After watching this video, take some time to write or draw out your thoughts and ideas. Next. Let's see what the Bible says. Matthew 28, 18 to 20. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. Consider this, Jesus has commanded us to go and make disciples of all nations, but his command comes with a promise. He will be with you as you go and make disciples among your friends and colleagues. Now check out 2 Timothy 2.2, and what you have heard from me in the presence of many witnesses, and trust to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. Paul encourages Timothy to entrust his message to faithful people who will pass it on to others. How do you imagine this could happen among your friends and colleagues? Paul is teaching Timothy how a community or team can work. Success in this area is dependent on having the right people alongside you. Paul, Timothy's mentor or coach, challenged him to multiply his faith by investing in faithful people. Is there someone in your life who answers your questions, helps you when you're stuck, and encourages you when the going gets tough? If not, who can you seek out as a coach? It is not enough to have vision alone. You need a plan and ongoing equipping to live on mission. As a Christ follower, an important part of living on mission is sharing the gospel. Leader Impact Next can empower you as you live out your faith in your workplace and grow in effectively sharing your faith with others. To start, are there five non-Christian friends or colleagues for whom you could pray, care, or share with this week? Pray, be intentional in praying for them. Care, take proactive steps to show you care through words or actions. Share, look for opportunities to start a spiritual conversation where appropriate, but remember, you should not live on mission alone. You will need a team. Who are five Christian friends or colleagues 
with whom you can share your goal and invite to join your team. All of this may seem like a lot, but remember, you are not alone. Leader Impact Next wants to come alongside young leaders like you to help them live out their vision. They can help connect you with a coach and have equipping resources available to you. Get started by visiting leaderimpactnext.com. Take the challenge. Share the challenge. Your impact starts now. So we're now gonna have some time for questions and answers. So if you have a question, please share that with us in the chat. And we have translators to help with those questions. So you can go ahead and post in any of the languages that are offered. But what questions are being added to the chat? I'll start us off with a question. So Liege, you've been very involved in seeing the Key Volunteer Challenge used to start movements in SLM. What is your hope for this tool, the Key Leader Challenge, and for graduates as they move into the workplace? That's a good question, Remesi. Uh, I don't know about you all, all the staff who are joining us today, but uh, it makes me sad when sometimes I run to, uh, to young people who was uh, involved with the uh, movement on college, and I realized that they are no longer sharing their faith. Some of them are not even walking with the Lord. I think as an organization, we need to take our part on the, uh, this responsibility. And uh, I believe that this tool is uh, a beginning. There are a lot that we will still need to do in terms of 100% sent. It means to really send, uh, send a a everyone to continue being lifetime uh, labors to continue being multiplying the disciples. So this tool, it encourages me because it's the beginning of a conversation that challenges so they will continue sharing their faith and making uh, disciples. And uh, I'm super excited about the, this tool. And also I believe this will help us uh, transitioning our students uh, to be uh, involved with the leader impact after college. So, yeah, I, I'm super excited. I think this will be a major help for us to really see uh, the, the reality of the wind camps today and the road tomorrow uh, coming through, becoming a reality, actually. That's great, Liege. I love that vision. So someone just asked, said they want to break down more of the key leader challenge component. How can they access the tools? Where, where can we find these after if we want to start using these videos? Okay, the tech team, you place the YouTube link for both videos in the chat. And you guys, uh, you will continue uh, receiving emails and some communication uh, from us, those who registered to the webinar. So I believe uh, uh, our production team will send the link to, but it might be in the chat right now. Great, and we've got some questions about translation as well. If this uh, video is not in my language and I want to go use it, how would I go about getting this translated? Okay, if uh, you are from SLM, uh, you can write to Allison or Andrew and they will uh, help you with this. They uh, email address should be in the chat in, in a few uh, minutes too. And uh, if you are from Leader Impact, you can write to Remesey, okay? And uh, if you can help us getting the text to translate, we can help you uh, with the video and everything else. Great. So we got a few more minutes for questions and answers. You can continue to add questions to the chat. We're working on uh, getting questions translated that were in other languages. If we had another question, uh, Liege, are there any resources or tips on how to advise someone in choosing a coach? Um, yes. Uh, I mean, our, our suggestion 
is if there is a uh, crew staff around the student or the young professional can ask the these people to be their coach but uh, it might not be reality uh, everywhere so what we are telling and i just told this to people that i used the chat uh, last week what are we are telling them it's why not you look at your church and you see uh anyone who who is a professional and is sharing the gospel and you can help that person to uh you can ask that person to help you just one example i have a dear friend who uh, who is a doctor and he was involved with the movement as a, a med student and he is a guy who is constantly constantly sharing uh his faith uh, as a doctor so every time i'm working with uh, uh, anyone who go to nursing school or medical school and uh, if they want to know what it will look like to be a christian professional in the marketplace i send that person to my friend you know because he already know how to do it so a mentor or a coach can be just that person with more experience and we can tell uh, our students uh to see if they natural relationships they don't have someone uh that they are married that can play this role great so we have another question here uh that i can take this one this is I'd like to know if you've developed a one-on-one -on -one presentation for older graduates a few years into their career so that second video we showed from leader impact next that's intended for young professionals uh, we've developed a worksheet to go along with that, which was added to the chat. And that worksheet is intended to help you have that one-on-one -on -one conversation with the young professional as you walk through the tool with them. Leah, I'll have another question for you. Uh, someone asked, why two systems? Why are there two versions if this is collaborative? It seems a 22-year-old and 25-year-old can use and understand the same tools and process. So why are there two versions? Yeah. As we said, we built this tool together. We spent uh, months working on this. Uh, Ramsey was involved, uh, Daniel, Uptato, uh, other guys from Leader Impact, uh, and we had people from SLM like uh, Alison, uh, Tom Goody. So we built this in collaboration. But what we realized is that even being the same tool, uh, we are working with two different audiences. So if I'm a child, a student who is involved with crew, you know, and maybe spend two or three years in a small group of discipleship, I don't need to spend much time explaining to this student about a great commission or a spiritual multiplication. But when a leader impact staff or volunteer is talking to a young professional who maybe never heard about the uh, spirit multiplication. So there will be necessary more uh, conversation and uh, and go deeper in some terminologies and the concepts that is uh, so common for a, a student. So it is uh, the same tool, but the way to present it, uh, it will really depend on how much uh, the person is involved with us or has any knowledge uh, about the, the Great Commission. For instance, uh, when I was explained the two, I said, uh, if uh, you are a talented student who is not evangelized, okay, don't waste your time with them. Because honestly, I think if someone is working with us for three, four years and still don't get that they need to share their faith, you know, probably it's not worth for you to spend your time. But if Ramsey is talking to a young professional that was never taught about how to share uh, his faith, you will need to be more graceful, you know, and uh, and uh, teach that uh, person something that is completely new. So that's why two approaches for the same two. I, I hope it's clear. Thanks, Liege. That's helpful perspective. I'll add one thing too. I think as we worked on developing these in the, the two versions, we realized there's a uh, parts of the conversation you'd approach a bit differently with a student that's about to graduate who's not yet mark in the marketplace, not yet working, 
versus a young professional that's already in, in the marketplace. They're in a bit of a different life stage. And because of that, there's some differences in how we'd approach the conversation. And, and as well with the leader impact video that is meant to be showed with a young professional, that's part of our startup process that uh, would help that young professional right then launch a movement in their city. Whereas a, a student that's about to graduate would be in a different place. So those are some of the reasons uh, for the two different versions. Let's see, we got maybe time for one more question. Uh, let me look through the chat here. A lot of questions about accessing the, the resources that we've been mentioned. If you missed something that was posted in the chat, we'll have that all available for you afterwards. If you're having trouble accessing a link or something that was included in the chat, the worksheets, the videos, we'll make sure that that's all accessible uh, to you afterwards. So thanks so much, Liege. As yeah. we, uh, as uh, can, can I, can Go I ahead, say Liege. just one more thing? I think it, is, it will be exciting for the Brazilians and other Portuguese speakers. Uh, we just finished the translation of the five things into Portuguese. So uh, it's done in a few days. Okay, you guys, you have access to the five things videos and the other uh, resources from 100% cent uh, in Portuguese. So this is uh, exciting. And again, uh, any of you guys who are here, if you want to uh, see these materials translated into your languages, talk to us, you know, to Alison and uh, uh, Andrew from SLM and also Ramsey from Leader Impact. We are here to help you. Awesome. Thanks, Liege. So as we finish our time today, uh, we want to leave you with a challenge of your own. Who will you share this key leader challenge with? Is there a key leader in your student movement that is about to graduate and move into the working world? Is there a young professional that wants to have an impact in their workplace? We're excited to see how God will use this in the lives of key leaders around the world. We've also started a workplace group where you can share and continue learning together. There's going to be a link to that posted in the chat now. And if workplace is unavailable in your area, we'll be reaching out to share with you another way that you can be involved in this conversation. We'll also be sending out an email tomorrow with ways to access the Key Leader Challenge, videos, and another exciting opportunity. So now I want to invite Holly Sheldon uh, to close out our time together in prayer. Uh, well, I just first say, have to say thank you. You guys did so good. This is even better than I imagined. So thank you guys. It's a privilege to be a part. Yeah. So Lord, we want to say thank you mostly to you uh, that we are so privileged to be living in the times we are. We're living in this COVID online world in so many places, and yet you are there. And so we want to take our two loaves and fishes, and we want to trust you with the things that you have entrusted to us. And you have commanded us, and, and, and we're all on this call because you have changed our lives. Uh, you have made us new. And you, Jesus, want to multiply that, your life, to the rest of the world. And we, we agree, and we want you to fulfill those good purposes with every single one of us on this call. Pray that you would allow, uh, Lord, this vision of multiplying labors and this vision of raising up more labors to the harvest um, to be fulfilled. And even the original vision that God gave to Bill Bright and others before him, Lord, would you fulfill all your good purposes for your glory, for your name, and surprise us, Lord. I pray, Jesus, that you would be greatly glorified in each one of our lives and through each one of the lives that we touch. In your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Holly. Well, thanks, everyone, for joining us today. We look forward to continuing to trust the Lord with you to raise up key leaders for God's kingdom. If you have further questions, please feel free to reach out to us. It was great to be with you all today. Bye.